Good afternoon everybody, this is obviously Aprilia here and today we're going to be looking into another brand new image generator. This one's called Reeve Image 1.0 and unlike GPD-4 which is very slow at prompting images, this one's actually quite fast at it. Now in terms of the ranking, it's currently sitting at number one in terms of quality, in terms of generation time, it's like sixth which is not bad because it's still faster than, you know, GPD-4.0 and obviously Mid Journey for example. Example. Now let's actually look into what you can do with Reeve as of right now. So everybody that basically signs up an account will be getting 20 free images per day and also should be getting 100 credits as well. So that means 600 images you can prompt for free per month plus the credits that you have and it's basically one credit to basically prompt four images or something like that. So basically it is currently freemium to use. Now as you can see it's actually pretty good at doing different types of styles that's very important because even the GPD-4.0 is not very versatile when it comes to different anime styles. It's more like Lockdown, Indie Ghibli and a couple of other styles but this one actually has a lot of variety. There's good real life photos here, there's good illustrations, there's good anime art. I can see definitely a lot of variety here and one of the obviously the big benefits is that it's also able to do text which some things like Mid Journey still are kind of having a lot of struggling with especially when it comes to longer sentences and we're going to be dying out a couple of different prompts here with it but this is also like pretty good for doing product advertisements and things like that and I think this is definitely more on the artistic side when I compare to it some of the other entries that we have featured on the past obviously and there's a whole playlist of these image generators that I have reviewed previously on the channel so in case you haven't seen them go check them out but people have been doing pretty cool stuff here and we're going to be trying out a couple of different prompts so we're going to be going into my own user page so I have prompted out some of the things like I wanted to try dioramas this turned out to be pretty good, good detail, good quality over here. Then I kind of took out a lot of prompts from Mid Journey and see how it will basically try to decipher them. You can see different types of styles. We have this one also turned out to be pretty good and a double exposure. That's what it's called. Yeah, that can do also different types of cards here. We have text and every single one it was able to do the full. And then there was also did it include no? Yeah, OK, so we have the zero and the full. So in every single prompt, it was able to basically follow those instructions for the text. Then I took out some stuff from Civitai. And it seems to be like when I was prompting with GPT-4.0, for example, I definitely felt like it was like really censoring more of the sexual content. But here it seems that there's been more liberation when it comes to that. But as you can see, there's different styles that we have done here. Uh, anime style, classical illustrations, paintings. This where I tried to do actual porcelain. The Mid Journey one did definitely a lot better. Here's another one. I, I like these one very much. This is like a very long prompt from Mid Journey. There's some distortion on the actual hands here. That's something that is happening with some of the images. And then we also have like, okay, I did try to do a text. So let's try to do a couple of different uh, prompts here. I'm going to be taking just a prompt from Mid Journey just for the sake of it. So let's take this one, for example. Let's see how it'll basically do. And what I like about here is that you can do four images in one, even eight images at once. And you also have the opportunity to choose the actual aspect ratio. So we're going to be trying to do similar as that, that one was, so two to three. And it's nice to have a lot of options here because a lot of websites don't, like they maybe have three different variations for image generation, but obviously there are tools to stretch images or outcrop them or etc. Now it's been going on for like three, four seconds. So I think the, the, okay. Okay, we definitely get, we were editing the previous image right now. So let's try to do, I don't know, how did I select that wrong, but whatever. So as you can see, that was probably like seven, eight seconds to basically finish out the prompts. Like in mid journey, I, I think it takes at least like 15 seconds base. And okay, these were definitely not what I was going for, but this image turned out to be pretty nice. There's a bit of distortion here on the background art. I don't like that. It's not symmetrically sound. This one's also pretty nice. So color schemes turn out to be pretty good. And here we have the cause text over here as well. Uh, let's take another prompt here and let's try to do some text as well on top of it. Now let's see how it basically will survive. This is pretty good one. Let's try to do that and maybe do like 
three to four, add text on the back that says testing for Aprilia's video. Thank you. And you can use the enhance. I'm not going to use that. But we'll only actually do two different variations of it. So let's see, just for the sake of it, let's do enhance on and let's see what type of results we're going to be getting. Testing for Aprilia's video. Okay, there's some text over there that's that's okay. Let's see here. Okay, totally different. Okay, here we got, it says thank you, but there's some like extra stuff there, which doesn't belong there, which could be that they're being, okay, here we have the perfect, perfect prompt on the text, another one. So changing dimensions actually did quite a lot for the quality, but then I would feel like in some of these, the actual, you know, stuff, stuff kind of went low, but all things considered, I think it's pretty high quality. Right now, there's a heavy competition on image generators. But the thing is, it is free to use. Yes, there's a paid plan. We should probably explore that for those who are interested in. So let me actually go into my account. And it's currently 500 credits for $5. And basically generating an image costs you one credit. Let me actually confirm that because if you're going to be doing eight images, illustration of Kanye West in Simpsons art style Maybach on the background. So let's see, we did eight images there. Did it actually charge us eight points or just one? It seems 60 at still, so, okay, 50 to do. Okay, so basically not a Simpsons style. Okay, here we got Simpsons style. Here we got Simpsons style some some problems here so it's not like super perfect but this is 1.0 and definitely when you prompt enough you do a couple of tries like let's say out of the things that because i was doing sets of four in every set there's at least one image that looks out pretty good like here for example we have distortion on the fingers but here we have like a pretty perfect image and this is also pretty good this one's kind of weird but overall i would say this is actually a pretty good thing and you can do a lot of things with it. And if you have little amounts of text with it, then definitely will be pretty easy to use. So in case you're interested, you can find the link down below in the description, but I'm gonna wrap up the video here as I don't have really much else to add here. And at some point, probably they are gonna be removing the free credits. So a lot of the free stuff that you're gonna be getting right now might not be available months down the line. This is kind of the normal thing where they start out free and then gradually they actually start asking money for prompting. There might be still free credits from one year from now, but what I'm saying is that you are gonna be probably gonna have more free time, you know, prompting than you will have in the future. Thanks for watching. I will be seeing you in the next video. So make sure you subscribe, like, and hit the comment button there. Tell me what you think about this and I will see you in the next video when it will be traveling out. Cheers.